noite que acolhe os que buscam a luz e a sabedoria. Mãos que amparam, que curam e que nos guiam. Palavra que nos conforta e nos enche de energia. Força que nos faz ver no escuro a luz do próximo dia. Estrada iluminada que nos mostra a direção e o caminho. E nos faz sentir seguros, sem medo de andar sozinhos. Buscamos a ti, voamos qual passarinho, enviado do Criador, rebanhando teus filhos por ninho. Sou feliz por ouvir teu conselho, por contar com. who believe no words are necessary for those who do not believe no amount of words are sufficient welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over mother earth on this casa day where the current is flowing freely from the portal of the casa de dom ignacio the house of love where the medicine is love connecting us across the miles one family and we have another spectacular day here overcast and cool and we had a lot of rain last night so nourishing all of our crops for us to eat and all of the animals are delighted as there's so much abundance and everything is green and we're held in this heart energy of mother earth 
and the birds, you might be able to hear them serenading us in a divine symphony. They're really, really happy. There's a bird's nest in our letterbox. So we're really, with three little eggs in it. So life continues and is so full of hope and promise. And we are being held in this majestic high vibration of Mother Nature. And we are in total gratitude for another day to walk our paths in light and in love. So wherever you are in the world, relax. If you are lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, this is super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground. Don't cross your body in any way. Keep your chakras open, heads elevated a little as we allow this majestic, high vibration to really beam out from our open hearts right across Mother Earth. As we raise our vibration here and now, we naturally raise the vibration of the entire planet as we multiply this wonderful current of love and light. And put a glass of water beside you this will be blessed and we drink it to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes with our very limited vision and leave the material world behind with all of its problems, its stresses, its difficulties, we open our spiritual eyes. The best sight is insight. Where we can see everything all there is beyond appearances. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. We're not living eternally in these physical bodies. We have an expiration date. We move in and out of perishable bodies. We need to remember that we are not alone. We have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. And today we honor our spirit doctors, these magnificent entities with us 24 seven. All we need to do is to reach out and ask them to help us and they will be there. And who are the entities? They are extremely advanced and benevolent spirits of love and light who once lived on earth just like us, the human condition. And they choose now to serve God and humanity through their work at the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio. They do not need to reincarnate on the physical earth plane, but they continue to evolve on the spiritual plane by assisting all of us here in this valley of tears. They occasionally make their identity known, but not always. And they come from all walks of life, all belief systems, all creeds, all colors. And they resonate with us here on earth because they know all about us and the human condition and they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need. These incredible benevolent helpers are spirits of deceased physicians, surgeons, dentists, psychologists, therapists, pharmacists, nurses, scientists, theologians, philosophers, philanthropists, journalists, writers, saints, Jesuits, priests, nuns, missionaries, martyrs, spiritists, mediums, educators, politicians, 
knights, kings, leaders, and notable gurus and masters. So we have an infinite amount of help from professionals who know what it is to live in trying times right down through the centuries. Each one of these entities or spirit doctors have their own speciality and are able to understand the root cause of all of our issues and how to heal them in accordance with our highest good. They right now are scanning our energy field to see what we need. And they also help with a variety of method, method, methods and procedures for healing to happen. They work with each one of us on the levels that are necessary on spiritual, mental and physical fields. We need to remember that healing is based on the readiness of our souls. And we need to reach out to this infinite phalange of spiritual helpers from beyond the veil and ask with a contrite heart and we will receive everything we need and more. And it's all about intention. We walk our paths as best we can. And we really need to realize that just in the asking, they will immediately come sent by our creator to help us, guide us, protect us, and work on us 24 seven. They literally start working on us the moment we connect to them. They are with us for our entire life, if we choose. When we even show an interest in something bigger than ourselves, the bigger picture, beyond the veil, they will connect immediately. The entities, spirit doctors, unseen beings, whatever you want to call them, send their energy always to those who ask for help. And behind all of this work, we are reminded, without exception, that all healing of mind, body and spirit comes from God's love. So with this majestic high vibration, let us reach out now in this moment as we pray the prayer of Caritas, divine love. Love is all there is and love never ends. And let us offer this beautiful prayer upwards, this magnificent high vibration to the heavens, asking all of these benevolent spirits to be present in our lives, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity now in these dark days, to help us all to go inwards on the journey of the heart and to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the joy, the gratitude, the humility, the love, the forgiveness, the gratitude deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all carnish and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness, 
one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. O oh, Father, Mother, God, sacred trinity of innumerable names, provide strength to those who are experiencing pain and anguish. Give light to those who seek the truth. Fill the human heart with compassion and love. God, give the traveller the star that guides. Solace to those in pain and rest to the sick and weary. O cosmic birther, give the spirit the truth. Give the child guidance the orphan, a parent. God, let your goodness encompass everything that you have created. Clemency to those who do not know you. Hope to those who are in pain. Let your will allow the consoling spirits to spread peace, hope and faith everywhere. God, may a single ray of light, a spark of your divine love, blaze this earth. Let us drink from the fountain of that infinite and fruitful goodness, and all tears will be dried, and all pain lessened. A single heart, a single thought, will rise to you like a cry of gratitude and love. Like Moses on the mountain, we await you with open arms. O oh, Almighty, O oh, Greatness, All oh, Powerful, All oh, Beauty, All oh, Perfection, And we wish in some way to receive your mercy. God, grant us the power to help progress, that we may rise up to you. Give us pure love. Give us faith and reason. Give us humility and simplicity that will make our hearts and our souls the mirror on which your divine image reflects. And so be it. Amen.
lifetimes to find ourselves right here, right now, in this moment in time and space, together, under the banner of the Casa de Dominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. And there's no coincidences and no accidents ever. We were all called in some shape or form to come together right here, right now. To help to walk each other home on our paths in this lifetime. And all roads lead to God. And bidden or not, God is always present. And God has no religion. There's only one religion, the religion of love. And the beauty of the Casa de Dom Ignacio is that we are called from all creeds, all colours, all belief systems, and in particular those without belief, are part of the work of the Casa. Religion separates us. The Casa is a universal house of love. And no one is discriminated against. And these entities came from all religious backgrounds. All roads lead back to the Creator, the Supreme Being. And we are looking for God. As if God could get lost. We are looking outside ourselves for that which lies within. And these messengers of God, these beautiful entities, are our bridge to find the God consciousness in everything, everywhere, always and in all ways. time looking for you and I didn't know where you were. I gazed at the infinite and I couldn't see you and I thought to myself, do you really exist? I wasn't pleased with the search and I went on. I tried to find you in religions and temples, but you weren't there. I searched for you through priests, pastors and healers, and I couldn't find you. I felt lonely, empty and desperate. I disbelieved. And in my disbelief, I offended you. In offending, I stumbled. In stumbling, I fell. In falling, I felt weak. Weak, I looked for help. In help, I looked for friends. With my friends, I found affection. In affection, I witnessed love being born. With love, I saw a new world. And in this new world, I decided to live. What I got, I decided to give. Giving something, I received a lot. And in receiving, I felt 
felt happy. Being happy, I found peace. And being in peace, I saw that you were inside of me. Without looking for you, I found you. At last. Amen. Thank
find peace it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other
We are all interconnected, all part of the same shining web, the human condition. Brothers and sisters in the light, the God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. And we're all in this together. We're just walking each other home. Pilgrims on the path. And God has sent so many spirit doctors, entities of light and love. Who know all about us and the human condition. And they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need. And although they don't have bodies, they are brothers and sisters. We are all children of God.
now in the presence of these beautiful spirit doctors, entities of light and love, and be open to receive. As you give, so it will be given to you. We are now receiving a deep cleansing from on high into our open hearts. As we take a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Let us breathe in the future with all of its hope, joy, peace, love, forgiveness, gratitude, faith, mindfulness, kindness. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, all our grudges and resentments, handing everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all of this denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, unburdened, happier, healthier, stronger, more at peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise generously, happily serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive. And those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth in this lifetime. To let go of anything and everything that's blocking us, stopping us from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. Dedicating ourselves to this work of liberation. Letting go. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there are so many, our brothers and sisters who are suicidal, depressed, desolate, feeling desperate, unloved, unwanted, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps. We're all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, flooding, famine, drought, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's bring medium joie into this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or who is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing, healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration into our open hearts from on high, let's share our bounty with the world. There's more than enough love and light to go around. Allowing this majestic high vibration to pour forth now into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now in these dark days on earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders, into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums. Anywhere, everywhere on planet earth where brothers and sisters are suffering, in pain, or are hungry, this God light pouring forth now into all war zones. Anywhere there's unrest, disharmony, riots, fighting, conflict, bringing peace in our lifetime. St. Rita is always with us. To God, all things are possible. In this sacred moment, this 
unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being. We need them now to wake up more than ever to our divine essence. We're all in this together, children of God. They have a great responsibility to do the right thing. There are consequences to our actions, karmic debt. To make good decisions about our future and the future of this tiny little planet we call home for now. For future generations to come. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. In this precious moment, this crystal clear, pristine, high vibration, pouring forth into our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Right here, right now. This beautiful, God consciousness enveloping Gaia, Mother Earth, growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, carnage and disincarnate, all creatures great and small, as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings with and without bodies all of God's creatures in all universes be healthy, happy, joyful, generous, humble, mindful, awake, faithful, childlike. be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
as we bask in this glorious high vibration that we are all receiving now. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, one family, this beautiful collective consciousness. Merging with the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. As we all work together, our brothers and sisters all over Mother Earth and beyond the veil. to be the change we need to see in the world as we move into a new earth paradigm full of love, light, forgiveness, joy, peace, happiness going forward into the future. And thank you God for sending all of your messengers of love so many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings elevated spirits and these phenomenal entities of light and love, spirit doctors from all walks of life who know all about us and see our suffering and are with us every step of this journey. All we need to do is to reach out and ask with a contrite heart and they are there loving us, protecting us, guiding us, helping us 24-7. Trust, have faith and believe in the power of God. We are not alone. We are powerful beyond measure. United we stand. And thank you for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence. We're all children of God, no exceptions. And life is short, and when we have learned these lessons, we will be liberated into their open arms with all of these holy beings in the celestial fields where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters for time and time again, coming together and working with this magnificent Christ consciousness, embracing all spirit doctors, all entities of light and love, in the universe for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, your faith, your hope, your light, your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God, love and service. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, there is a bigger picture. We're not alone, we've never been abandoned. Faith moves mountains, and your faith is healing you. Your family and friends, your extended family, we're all brothers and sisters. And Mother Earth, and your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We have a job to do. We're well on the path. Stay elevated. We have infinite phalanges to help us. You're doing an amazing job. Onward.
worlds upwards, forward together. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Thank you. Let us pray. In gratitude for all of God's messengers, spirit doctors, entities of light and love. Namaste.